Companies are working on robots that will be able to earn you passive income within the next 5 to 10 years. Because of the possible emergence of robots, Tesla's CEO Elon Musk is backing away from the universal basic income campaign. In fact, he's working on one himself. Musk claimed he's working on a Tesla bot, or a robot that will undertake, hazardous, repetitive, and boring activities, so people don't have to add a Thursday lecture on artificial intelligence held by Tesla. However, Musk recognizes that the construction of this robot may eventually take the place of occupations for which people are now compensated, which is why he believes a guaranteed income will be required in the future. Welcome to today's episode of AI News. In this episode, I will show you in what way soon-to-be-released robots will enable real universal basic income, how UBI is going to change society, and finally, how you specifically can be able to profit from it more than other people. Physical labor will essentially be a choice in the future. This is why I believe a universal basic income will be required in the long run. The robot will be friendly, standing at almost 6 feet tall and capable of speeds of up to 5 miles per hour, according to Musk. However, if it is built as planned, it would eliminate many employment. While Musk's robot has yet to take over, businesses all around the country are turning to automation rather than paying people to do their jobs. For example, Insider recently reported that restaurants who have been unable to employ staff for months have turned to QR codes to allow guests to browse menus rather of having a waiter carry one to them. Furthermore, Cracker Barrel launched a mobile app that allows customers to pay for meals. McDonald's began testing automated drive through ordering at 10 Chicago locations, and Dave & Buster's plans to expand its contactless ordering, effectively eliminating many restaurant jobs that were previously performed by humans. If the current trend continues, universal basic income will certainly become a more prominent topic of discussion. Some localities have already begun piloting universal basic income programs for certain populations, and California just inaugurated the nation's largest statewide universal basic income program, which prioritizes pregnant women and individuals aging out of the foster care system. After the pandemic prompted Congress to approve three stimulus checks for Americans, some Democrats pushed for the checks to be extended well beyond the end of the pandemic, and in late March, amid infrastructure negotiations, 21 Democratic senators urged President Joe Biden in a letter to include recurring direct payments in his infrastructure plan, claiming that if checks ran out after the CARES Ahead Act expired, they would be unable to afford to pay their bills. Despite concerns that growing automation would eliminate employment, those who own robots will be able to earn some form of passive income, and if they don't, universal basic income will be available to help them escape poverty. Technological advancement is accelerating at an ever-increasing rate, bringing with it numerous advantages and unavoidable changes to our way of life. One disadvantage is that machine learning and automation are already displacing workers, and this trend will continue. It also has the potential to replace a significant portion of that revenue with universal basic income, UBI, or government cash handouts to all adult residents, beginning with modest tax relief and escalating to almost $100,000 per year per citizen during the next 20 years. While that does sound rather insane, Mark Zuckerberg, Richard Branson, and Elon Musk are among the proponents of universal basic income. Last year, Musk indicated that he believes job loss would be so severe as a result of automation that some kind of universal basic income, UBI, will be required to maintain our civilization. Bill Gates proposed that every time a person is replaced by a robot, or in most instances software that uses artificial intelligence or machine learning to automate, the business owners should be required to pay a tax, similar to what an employee would pay on wages. However, most previous UBI proposals to date have required boosting taxes on those with higher incomes. What if the actual solution to universal basic income was to cut everyone's income taxes? Rather than rising government debt, a renowned Stanford lecturer argues that ongoing technological deflation would lead to the necessity for UBI and a way to support it. Gata supports his thesis with a large amount of data in his article. In reaction to technological deflation, the world's central banks will have to generate new money indefinitely, expanding the stream at a far faster rate than currently expected. If this now permanent requirement for monetary growth is accepted, government expenditures may be funded more directly. As a result, 
Residents will benefit from a highly strong, dynamic, and effective safety net, while most types of taxes will be reduced or eliminated by 2025. In 2007, the iPhone, for example, replaced much of the technology in your house, resulting in fewer new purchases in that area year after year. In three years, the identical iPhone 8 you just bought for $699 will very certainly cost a fraction of that, thanks to the arrival of a newer, faster, and more powerful model at the top of the pricing ladder. Alexa, Ring, and Nest, among other home Internet of Things devices, are also replacing and combining many usual purchases into lower-cost gadgets. So, while the price of new tools and toys may appear to be increasing on a case-by-case -case basis, it is fast reducing when compared to capabilities, speed, power, the number of purchases necessary, and so on. Artificial intelligence and machine learning are also increasing the use of automation while decreasing the need of people for certain jobs and functions. In 2017, Amazon reportedly installed 75,000 robots to take over human employment. This aids them and other businesses in lowering expenses, allowing them to provide reduced rates across the board. These variables, which include continuing innovation and efficiency, as well as automation that eliminates jobs and lowers costs, have resulted in fewer consumer purchases and rapid overall decreases in aggregate consumer expenditure, potentially posing severe employment and economic concerns. If this occurs, it may have far-reaching consequences that few know, and it will undoubtedly be frightening for some along the road. As the amount of technology products we buy grows while the cost and number of those things falls, Gata feels we are approaching a stage in our economy when deflation is a more severe concern than inflation. Some believe that a universal basic income would discourage people from working. One point of view is that, unlike current welfare systems, a UBI will not penalize someone for finding a job by depriving them of their benefits. In this approach, work becomes an additional source of income rather than a cause of competition. A UBI, on the other hand, may encourage individuals who are working to cease doing so, as their higher income taxes may be used to pay for other people's guaranteed income. Importantly, no research have identified a link between UBI and unemployment thus far. In reality, they've frequently demonstrated the polar opposite. People in the Manitoba city of Dauphin, for example, were not discouraged from working when they received a UBI, and the only two categories that worked less were moms with small children and adolescents who stayed in school longer. The idea is that when income taxes are phased out and technology is monetized to support government, new employment are generated at a faster rate, which offsets job losses due to automation, with the UBI acting as a buffer while people adapt. Finally, Gata believes that the combination of the income tax phase out and the universal basic income UBI, would encourage a far higher level of entrepreneurship in the economy, which will be the source of most professional activity in the future. Could we be on the verge of implementing a far more sophisticated version of Bill Gates' taxing of robots proposal? According to experts in the area, this might happen in the next few years. So what is your opinion on the potential implementation of universal basic income in a future where robots are doing the majority of the jobs which we are doing right now? Do you expect us getting to a point where it's a requirement or do you believe that humans will always have something to earn money with? Please tell us your opinion in the comment section below. I would love to hear what you have to say about it. Thank you for watching AI News. We consistently report on the newest technologies that are shaping the future of our world. We'd appreciate you subscribing and watching our other videos. See you around and take care.